Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you something that you can do while you're visiting Scotland or even if you live in Scotland and you're looking for a family day out. This video will have lots of information about prices, food and entertainment as well as walking you around the park and showing you some of the animals. When you first arrive in the park you receive this leaflet and a bumper sticker. This will give you some sort of idea on how big the park is and it helps you plan what animals you want to see next. We visited on a Saturday and it was £17.25 per adult and £14.25 per child. The brochure also tells you about lots of things that are happening in the park, which I'll tell you about later in the video. You can visit this park even if you don't drive, but there is a drive through animal reserve. Here you can see lots of the animals roaming around freely. While I was here I didn't get to do everything, but some of the things that you won't see on this video are the bird of prey display and the boat to Chimp Island. There's also an astroglide slide, a pedal boats and a flying fox zipline. You can also visit Lemurland and Bugland. I did visit Bugland while I was there but I didn't manage to film anything. As you can see the animals are free to roam around and sometimes they do come right up to the car and try and put their head in the window. As far as I know you can actually visit that house on the top of the hill. I haven't visited it yet but I would like to do that next time I go if it's possible. The lions are kept separately from the other animals for obvious reasons. I have been to see lions a few times and normally when you go and see them during the day they're sleeping but sometimes you get to see them being fed and they kind of walk around a little bit but they're not the most active animals in the world. When you're driving through to see the monkeys definitely keep your windows up. The last time I was here I seen someone driving around with a strawberry on the dashboard and there was about six monkeys sitting on top of the car. When we were driving around here it was quite a hot day and it doesn't look as if there's many monkeys here but trust me they're actually everywhere and they're not shy to come up to the car at all. Throughout the day you get the chance to meet the keepers of the different animals and they'll answer any questions that you have about the animals and give you lots of information about them. There's four sea lion presentations throughout the day where you get to see them being fed and they show you how they train them. I went to see it last time and it was actually quite good. The presentations are free and I would highly recommend you go. There's 
There's lots of other things to do while walking around the park as well. If you're willing to pay a little bit extra, you do have the animal experience where you can feed the animals and have your picture taken, as well as become a keeper for the day. Look at how cute these little meerkats are, I just wanted to scoop them all up and take them home. In this video you don't even get to see half the animals that are actually there, but there was also giraffes that we didn't get to film at the time. One thing that I did notice as I was walking around seeing the animals is that some of the signs didn't actually match what the animals were, but with any luck you can figure out for yourself what ones are wrong. Finally we got to the best part, which is the pigs. Sadly they didn't have any piglets at the time, but as you can see these big pigs are just as cute. I could just squash its wee face and kiss its nose. Many people think that pigs are dirty animals, but they only roll around in the mud to keep cool. And actually a lot of them like to swim as well. I don't care what anybody says, if you don't think that that's the cutest thing ever then there's something wrong with you. If you get hungry there is a cafe, you can also book a barbecue, the staff will supply the coals and light the barbecue for free and all you have to do is take your own food along. In the cafe I filmed the menu to give you an idea of what the prices are. One thing that I will say about the cafe is that none of these prices include chips, so if you order chips you have to pay extra. At least their steak pie is actually pie and it's not stew with puff pastry. I ordered the macaroni cheese and it was actually quite nice. My friend ordered the burger but he didn't like it very much. And this is a child's portion of fish and chips. Even though the day started off really sunny, obviously with it being Scotland it started to rain so we didn't get to go around and see all of the animals. There's a giant fort there that you can climb and this is me filming the park from the top of the fort. As you can see here there's a really big play area and this isn't just for kids, adults can play on these things as well. Straight across from the large fort there's a smaller fort and there's an undercover play area as well.
This is the undercover play area. In the sand they do treasure hunts where kids look for gold tokens which can be exchanged for face painting or glitter tattoos. The rhinos actually roam around freely in the drive through area but this is normally where they spend most of their time. The last time I was here this rhino was just a little baby. The ducks were out just living life in the rain as usual. This is the viewing area for the elephants. There's actually more than one elephant and they do have a giant piece of land to roam around freely outside. This rope normally has ants walking along it, but there was no colony this time. At this point most of the animals had went inside because of the rain. When we went to see the giraffes they were also inside and there was no way of viewing those. Even though the park wasn't actually closed at this time, there wasn't really that much to do because all the attractions were wet and most of the animals were inside. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the animals and I hope I gave you enough information. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here consider subscribing. Don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye!